Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be learning how to um, mod Minecraft. Now, I've looked for videos of this, like, a lot on YouTube and stuff like that. There are some tutorials on the Minecraft forum, um, which pretty go pretty well tell you how. It's actually really simple. But, um, I'm going to be making a video, so it's going to be kind of a lot easier to follow. But, um, some things you're going to need is the Minecraft Coder Pack, or MCP, which you could get easily by googling it. Uh, you're going to need Eclipse, or some sort of, maybe, Notepad++, or some sort of Java editing program. I say, I go with Eclipse, because it's a lot easier. But, um, you're also going to need uh, a Java platform like Java SE whatever whatever you can get and um, now once you have all that which you should have by now if you went and downloaded that you're gonna wanna get um, get all of your uh, Minecraft bin resources save screenshots stats and texture packs and options and put them in the MCP jars thing. So you'll have that. You probably would want an original Minecraft jar file without any other mods on it. And once you have that, you go ahead and go here and click decompile. It should say this. If it doesn't, then I think you need to set your environment path. I think. I'm not sure if you'll have to do that, but there's probably another video somewhere about that. Now, it'll decompile and rename all the stuff for you. And we'll just wait for that to hurry up. It does take a little while, but there is a lot of stuff in the Minecraft uh, jar file. And you'll probably see this, but that doesn't really matter. The Minecraft server was not found skipping. That's all good. And once you have that, you want to go to Sources, Minecraft, Net, Minecraft, Source. And this is all your Java files that you will need for modding. Now we're just going to make a really simple, um, a really, really simple, just regular, like, mob. Like a regular person mob. But, um, we're going to do it, like, the most simple way that you possibly could with the zombie. Now you got your, you got this zombie thing. Let's just go ahead and minimize that. Now you got this. It just looks like a whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna try and describe what most most of the stuff is. A lot of it's self-explanatory. This public class. You don't really need to learn much about that. Extends entity mob. That means that it takes all of the like public stuff from the entity mob. Uh, Java file, which is also in. Just go ahead and close some of this stuff is also in here if we go up to here that's that's where it is nothing special super world that means that it's going to be in the world i believe texture that's self-explanatory move speed self-explanatory text strength self-explanatory on living update that just means um when it's living go ahead and do this we're gonna have we're probably gonna have to get rid of this uh, like this if, because that makes it so if, if it's daytime, it will light on fire and die, like most zombies would. Uh, these are the living sounds, like when it's living, it'll make that sound every once in a while. When it's hurt, it'll make that sound. When it dies, it'll make that sound. This is what it drops, as you can see, it drops the in the item.java, it goes from item.java and it finds feather and shifted index you really don't have to worry about that all right so this is one of the things we need we're just gonna have to go ahead and get rid of this all of it all right now um what we're gonna name this let's just name it um example just, you know, just to make it easy. 
this is put exm. All right, now you're probably gonna, you're gonna want to rename all of this the exact same thing exm. This you can leave it if you want the thing to look like a zombie. But um, if you really want to do, you could go ahead and make your own your own little texture for it. Uh, you don't need to name this exm unless you have an exm.png. Um, this also doesn't have to be exm because yeah, that's to get custom sounds. I don't think it's simple enough as just putting it in the folder that the sounds are in. Um, I don't think it works that way. But um, feather, we can just make that a um. Let's just make it leather. I think that's what leather is. Uh. Okay, now that we have that, we want to go file, save as. And you want to put entity exm dot java. You can't forget that, or else it doesn't work. You want to go ahead and save that. And make sure we got everything. Alright. Now, we want to go to the model file for the zombie. Now, um... This is like how the thing is built, but um, the on all of this we don't need because it just replaces the bip left arm, the bip right arm from model bip. If we were to go into that, let's go ahead and find that model bip. See, it already has the cloak. Cloak and ears are for like um. That's for Dead Mouse. That's for Notch and his people. The head, like it already has the head, the body, the right arm, and the left arm, and the right leg and the left leg. So you don't need to worry about any of that in here. So you can just go these. All of this is just so the zombie's arms are facing forward. So you can just go ahead and get rid of that. Go ahead and file, save as model e xm dot java enter now that we have oh yeah you'll also want to rename this which I forgot to point out go ahead and save that now the render file oops, render file we don't really need because if we go to it there is our render bipped which we could use so we're just gonna go ahead and go to Biome Gen Base. You can just press B, it's the first B.